In this video, I'm gonna show you how to find trending niches for your Amazon Merch account. These are very important skills that you need to have if you wanna make consistent sales on your account. Hey there guys, my name is RJ Martinez, and I'm gonna show you how to find profitable niches for your Merch by Amazon account. A lot of people do not know how to do this or where to start, but I'm gonna break it down step by step for you. All right, so one of the cool things is finding profitable niches with Merch Informer, okay? When it comes to Merch Informer, it's so easy to use. This is the front dashboard I'm logged in right now, as you can see. So I'll come over here to product research, product search, merchant search, merch hunter, Etsy, Pinterest search, movers and shakers, trend tracker. There's so much that you can do in here. Okay. Competition checker, keyword research, keyword finder, niche hunter, trademarks, trademark alerts, trademark hunter, and then, you know, different types of tools, merch calendar. When it comes to the merch calendar, check this out real fast. Let me show you. Okay. It'll show you pretty much a lot of the holidays that are coming up. So if you want to use this right here, you can go over into like, you can see like July, you can go into August, you can September and you can stay ahead of this and you can see it's showing you pretty much every single damn day. Yeah. Damn! So, uh, cheese pizza day. Okay. Labor day. First day of Hispanic heritage month. Okay. And, uh, it's pretty much keeping everything updated and you know, you can go all the way into 2020, 20, 2023, <laughs> right? Uh, so December 22 to boxing day. And you're going to, there's a ton of, these are all niche ideas. So you cannot not think of a niche that you can go after by using this tool. One of the best tools that I like to use is the movers and shakers. If you come over here to movers and shakers, it'll basically show you like some of the top selling designs. Okay. That are selling consistently. And this is what I like to use this for when you're looking at the BSR. So if you come over here, this is the BSR chart. You can see when you see that a, a consistent seller that's going up and down, up and down. When I look at that type of stuff, that means there's a demand. Okay. When, when there's a demand, I'm like, all right, this is a niche that I want to design for. Okay. And you get an idea of what's selling and what's not selling. So for example, Christmas in July, right? This is coming up. This is in July and you see you got sales. Okay. Let's keep going. My, all, my, all, my job is all rainbows and butterflies lab tech. Okay. You can see who, what they're targeting right there by looking at the keywords, but let's say this little funny mechanic shirt right here. Okay. If you click on this, it's going to bring you over to amazon.com. Do me a favor. Give this video a thumbs up. Okay. When it brings you over to amazon.com, one of the things that I like to look at is the listing to see how it's doing over time. Okay. This one's doing okay. It's a, it's a, it's a good seller for, you know, I'm pretty sure it looks like something like this would catch, you know, start making sales because it's a funny mechanic niche. Let's go down this try to sorry i have plants with my pig you're seeing this one has some type of consistent sales too as well and this is something that can be pretty much scaled out if you just change out the keyword so with my dog english bulldog with my monkey so on and so forth i'm coming in here and just trying to find demands in the niches that i think that will do really well and i just rinse and repeat this okay every single morning uh just come in here and check it out and see what's selling okay if you do that you're going to see, you know, different ideas, different niches that you probably would never even thought about. Okay. So that's what I like to use this for. And you can, there's several, there's a ton of pages that you can go into right here. Another one, let's say, you, and I will go through these. There's a ton that you can use here. There's from Etsy search, you know, Pinterest. Let's use the Merch Hunter. If I come over here to Merch Hunter, top, you know, top hundred, let's say I type in rock climbing or shoes. Just not type in that general keyword. Okay, I'm gonna keep the BSR between, you know, I want to ensure that's selling between this right here. Okay, I want to average BSR right there of that's you know what's selling, and then you can even do the ratings like it has to have zero to one. Estimated sales, okay. You can even mess with this a little bit more. Um, I want a BSR between that, and then I can even mess with this. I want the average BSR. Okay, you see where I'm getting now with this. So I'm gonna leave that everything else pretty much the same US market category, which for Amazon shirts and hit search. Okay, and that does its little magic. And then it, it's gonna show us some really good information, some really awesome designs to give you inspiration and ideas, you know, about each niche. And this is your job. This is the, the hard part. You see this stuff, you're not gonna wanna copy none of this. The goal is to create something and come up with ideas that will be different from these people that you can start to rake and make 
sells with. Okay. You know, the retro thing is a big thing. Okay. So if you use the retro, think of ways that you can use like different silhouettes and stuff like that. Uh, just one more rock. I promise. But that one looks good too. Okay. So that's the rock collector. Interesting. Rock collector may have rock climbing in there. Okay. You're seeing that it's kind of, it's going a, a little bit all over the place. Some cool ones though. And some really good ideas. And maybe that search, the search that we just did is a little bit too narrow. But let's see, for example, this is just one for example. Okay. That's two ratings. Okay. Now looking at it's a consistent seller. As we can see, that's and then you can see right here, you get remember, don't forget to look at based on your recent views, but looking at this right here, look at this one right here. It has a, a little bit more colorful um background for like, you know, climbing doing a little the rock climbing indoor rock climbing stuff and you come in here you have another you have the mountain and just getting ideas rock climbing okay and they did the birthday theme rock climbing which is cool you can see that they you know they really thought about that which is that's what you would have to do to make sales or just even to make it like a dent in a certain niche you can see how i would use that and this rinse and repeat going through different types of niches and trying to figure okay cool like what seems to be selling in these niches and what do these customers want? And you create something for the customer and you make sales. Keyword research, keyword finder, really trending phases is a really cool way to as well. Um, you know, you can come in here and just, let's say let's June 1st hit search. Okay. This is just an example, um, but you're going to see, it's going to pop up two word, three word, four word, um, a girl who loves just a girl who loves and some of these phrases you got to be careful because you know they may be trademarked you want to double check that they also have a cool tool too as well the merchant former trademark check okay it's a free chrome extension um, you, know, you can see let me pop it up real fast boom boom I have it here so for example let's say like some a phrase on this listing was trademark double check basically the phrase let's say a vintage boulder bouldering design was trademark it would pop that up but it's popping up rock it's more of a general word so it's very hard to trademark something like that i know there's a movie and then there's the rock stuff like that but when it comes to something like that it's like a rock is a general type of thing so you can't trademark that and you, you just want to make sure that you're not designing for the rock you know, this is more for like, you know, rock climbing, stuff like that. So it's okay to use. So that's pretty cool. You can come in here. Just, I would literally just dive into here and see what like certain phrases that I can find and just keep researching them and see like if there's a demand for it. Okay. If you do, you know, you can find some new phrases that no one else has like on a shirt design and that can be an opportunity. Right. And a lot of people say, I can't do that. It's hard to find. And it, it just takes work. Okay. Understand that everything that is, you know, that we're doing and making sales, I make sales on new products and certain designs is because it just takes a little bit more work and effort with the more competition coming onto the platform. So do not be afraid to do one, go into a, a niche with a high demand. If you know what you're doing and you take the time to actually research the niche and kind of give the customers what they want. One thing that I recommend, let's say, for example, let's say you come into a new niche, going off topic with this <laughs> but let me show let me show you so for example like a new niche like uh american eagle okay you see this design right here i come over here this american eagle right here this design in general okay if i come down i'm looking look at the reviews i want to see you know what people are saying so maybe very poorly okay uh true to size good shirt on the, the print is not okay run small but what i try to look for in here is like what do they like about the shirt the most like what was the thing that they liked about it they obviously are most likely they probably like the eagle, the eagle, right? So if we come back to the actual eagle, wondering if I can create something that would, you know, be very detailed and just like next level type of type of thing. Or even if you get inspiration, it doesn't have to be an eagle. You can do a pig. Right? We just found earlier in this video. So that's what I would do. And just kind of just go back and forth in here and come up with, you know, different ideas. So there's a ton of different features in here. I would test them all out, see what you can come up with. Um, it's just an amazing, amazing tool and freaking awesome. Like even this right here. So I clicked on keyword research niche hunter. You come in here. Okay. Shirts showing you like the top rank this week It's showing you a lot of t-shirts in here that are, you know, just funny sayings, text-based designs that are doing really well. You can see the keywords, you know, it's a, it's a boy shirt, gender reveal shirt. And they're talking about tea. Okay. Tea, like tea, like pouring tea, drinking tea. 
And this is another way to actually use this tool and come up with, you know, inspiration and see what niches are going hot right now and what people are buying. This is my crab. This is my crab eating shirt. That's pretty cool. This one I had. This is my crab eating shirt. You can search that too. I'll literally just product search. Hit search. And when I hit search, it's going to show me the demand. Okay. Oh, not the UK. Let me switch that over to the US. So it's looking, looking, looking. Give it a second. And this is my crab eating shirt. The average BSR, you can see search results 500. 3,000, this is a pretty good, you know. So I would literally think of, and I get the, this is my crab eating shirt. I can see people wearing this when they're going out to eat, to dinner, to wear their shirt. But think of other ways in this niche that you can probably j dive into because this seems to be a decent a decent niche that if you rank on the front page, you may get a consistent seller that's selling, you know, three to five times a week, which is really cool. So that's one way to do that. You see how I did that and you come in, niche hunter, Look for different types of phrases, new phrases that are being, you know, people are saying, and then come over, search it on the Merchant Form, or even search it on Amazon too, to see what other ideas pop up. And that's one way to find a new trend and niche or a niche with very little competition. And you can make, you know, different designs for that niche. All right, one of my favorite tools inside of here too is the Merch Designer. I would click on the Merch Designer and it's basically gonna bring you over here, but it's gonna put the correct template for pretty much t-shirts, throw pillows, and you know, phone cases, uh, merch phone cases. And it's giving you different types of templates that you can put on. So for example, let's say t-shirt, okay? This is a Merch by Amazon t-shirt. This is just a default template. You could change the color over here. There's a lot that can be done, okay? And they upload you know new uh pieces of uh clip art back here for you so you can use and you can see how easy it is i literally just clicked and i try that again click that one okay and you can see it brought it over here okay these are free to for commercial use so you can use them and put them on the shirt put them on the shirts or however you like there's a frog niche i don't even know what the heck that is is that a cobra a little sheep you see what i'm doing so you can make like a sheep a sheep shirt right and you come over here they have different texts you can just literally simply just add a text change the color of the text right you can do that and i'm just messing around but this is just an example how you can just add stuff into their you know different texts in there and uh, change the colors resize it change this to if you want to whatever okay um see how that is um, this is you can do this is my sheep shirt or whatever. literally just that e simple and easy that you can hit download You can even upload your own images. You can see they have the layers the drawing shapes Layers effects, you know if you want to put like a vintage type of effect on it mask images upload your own image Like I said, and this is pretty freaking cool And then when you're all done hit download then it'll download into that PNG file that you need and then you can upload it to pretty much whatever platform you want. So you can see how easy this is to use and it's really, really cool. So now with all that being said, you can see, you know, monthly pricing, $10, $10 a month. Everything's really affordable. Okay. Uh, $20 a month for the professional plan. You can see everything that you get. And this is, it's, it's, it's crazy. You know, you get all the bonuses. You can see everything that you automate. Oh, so you get automation you know, interface automation too as well, free access to that. You get the graphics, uh, Merch Design Merch Academy, 24 seven customers, 24 seven customer support and, you know, product track and keyword. You know, I pretty much broke down like the way that I would do a lot of this stuff and how I use it. Um, if you come over here to, you know, the pricing yearly, you get a little bit of a discount. And I do also have my affiliate link down below in the description with a coupon code so you get big, uh, even bigger discount if you use my coupon code right um and if you want to learn how i sold over two hundred thousand dollars worth of merch by amazon watch this video right up here